Well, hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Saga channel. Today, a super cool episode because we're going to do a photo shoot in the cenotes under the Mexican jungle. I'm trying something a little bit different for today's episode. I actually, uh, I recorded a voiceover. I normally don't narrate the videos, but I just felt like it. We shot in 4K as well, so if you have fast internet and you don't live in a jungle house like me, then you can actually enjoy this video in 4K. And let me know below in the comments what you think of the narration. As always, uh, if you enjoy scuba diving content, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting more videos. For today's episode on the Dive Saga channel, we are in Mexico with world-renowned underwater photographer Tom St. George. You may know Tom from a previous video on this channel or simply from his unique and epic cave diving photography style. Gabby and I were in Mexico for our annual cenote trip and Tom was kind enough to take us along for the ride on one of his photo shoots. Even better, we got to model for the master. Today's dive site is Cenote Ponderosa, also known as Garden of Eden. It's a popular cenote and well known for its impressive light show all throughout the dive. This is because the light enters the cenote through a crack in the jungle floor, filtering through trees, roots and leaves. It's a real spectacle. Today's dive plan is about two hours long. We won't be diving very deep, about five meters or 15 feet, and we'll be using a side mount system so we can effectively double our gas supply. The fact that it will look cool in the photos is of course a nice bonus. The only way to reach the beautifully lit part of the cenote is by diving through a cavern first. Luckily, we have cave instructor Julia with us. After a thorough dive briefing, we can get in the water, get all the equipment ready and check everything. And of course, wait for Julia to lay a temporary line to the cavern's main line. Cavern and cave diving is reasonably safe under the condition that they are performed by trained professionals. Cave training is intense and even for a cavern dive with limited overhead diving, the presence of a cave dive like Julia is required. Keep in mind, if we're going in through the cavern, we'll need to be coming back out through the cavern as well, unless we're willing to hike through the jungle. Once we reach the other side of the cavern, the light show starts. It's hard to keep our eyes off the sunbeams because the movement of the water generates a non-stop spectacle. As if this amazing location wasn't enough, Tom and Julia knew a less traveled path that took us in the shallow jungle mangroves. I've dived a fair amount of cenotes, but I've never really dived in a place like this. The water was extremely shallow and the bottom very silty, so buoyancy skills were definitely required. I couldn't resist the urge to stick my head out of the water and have a good look around. This is absolutely my kind of diving. What a crazy location for a photo shoot.
Next up is one of Tom's favorite tricks. I call it the butt light. The concept is actually rather simple. You take a 40,000 lumens dive light and position it behind your subject, pointing at their butt. The result is a beautiful aura around the diver. It does a great job separating the diver from the background and creating that epic vibe for the photo in general. If you'd ask me about the secret behind these amazing photos, the answer is actually somewhat simple. Our total dive time was 118 minutes and Tom didn't stop shooting, even once. So don't get stuck on wanting the perfect piece of equipment or the perfect opportunity. Just get out there and chase the shot for two hours on end if you have to. If you guys like scuba diving content, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I am also going to drop uh, Tom and Julia's Instagram links below. If you want to get in touch with them for some cenote diving or a photo shoot, you can do that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.